trying to do was to make a seam on a sewing machine along the edge of the lace so that I could later pull one thread and make the lace a bit rounded because if you lay the cape on the floor you will see that it is like a section of a circle so the lace should conform to that shape but I failed so I will have to do it the old-fashioned way by hand half an hour later i have a small piece of lace done and it's slightly curling that's what i need 13 meters to go Time to play with some fabric! As soon as I put this fabric on my shoulders, I've realized that there are a couple problems with it. First of all, it's heavy. Second of all, it's stretchy. And both will give me some trouble later on. I will combine two fabrics for this cape. The bottom will be of a darker color and the rest will be light. I tried different tools for transferring the pattern onto this fabric, pen, dry soap, tailor's chalk, nothing worked well. Then I came up with this idea of using baby powder. I would put a ruler one centimeter away from the pattern edge and brush some powder in between. This way both the seam line and the seam allowance would be marked. After spending enormous amount of time checking if there is exactly one centimeter between the ruler and the pattern, I invented a thing. The thing helped a lot. For some reason, in Russia nobody adds seam allowance to the pattern on paper. I never did it before, but next time I certainly will.
you probably noticed that I based everything. It takes longer, but the result is much more predictable, especially with stretchy fabrics. Now I need to connect the shoulder lines and back neckline with the hood. The shape is a bit weird, it takes time and patience. And teamwork! I make a small cut where shoulder turns into hood to turn that acute angle into Obtuse angle. Wow, new word for me. Obtuse. Just like me until I realized I could do it all comfortably sitting at the table. Another small cut. Basting around hood darts and sewing. Remember, I told you that weight and stretch would cause troubles? Here we go! Same pattern, but it's now much longer on me, and the hood doesn't have any volume whatsoever. I'm a bit disappointed, but let's continue and find a way to make it work. That sound again. I'm terrified of pins and needles on the floor since that childhood incident when I had to pull half of a 5 cm needle out of my heel. I didn't notice how it got in, but it was quite painful to get it out. Finding these lost needles takes time and patience and teamwork. Back to pinning the sleeves in place. And basting everything but the armholes. first sleeve had turned out to be exactly the size of the shoulder, and I was relieved I don't need to set it in. But the second sleeve head did have the fabric excess. Why? Anyway, I'm too tired to think about it. I'll just gather it by hand and sew it in. It's done! Compared to the other one. 
not much difference. Try it on again. It's still a bit too long and the seams don't look good. Heavy stretchy fabric pulls from each side of the seam creating wrinkles. I guess I'll have to shorten it a bit. I can only hope some thick non-stretch lining will make it work. I plan to connect all seams of both layers and hope that the other fabric will keep velvet from stretching down under its own weight. Next time! More cutting! More pinning! More slouching! new pattern pieces and cats, cats, cats.